All right, guys, and welcome back to BFME to the Rise of the Witch King Christmas Tournament semi-finals between Solas from Germany and Mr. Smog from Ukraine. Holy moly. If we don't get 50 likes on this video, I don't know. You know, <laughs> you gotta you gotta smash that like button. Best of five series and random mirror for both the players. The first map is going to be Westfold and we might potentially see five games. We had already our predictions in the live stream and Eternal is joining us today for the co-commentary as well. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And yeah, this is gonna be amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Can't wait. Uh, I don't know why he's not starting yet. Now, five, four, three, two, he's putting ice, one. You know, it's like <laughs> starting the game. And the matchup, the first matchup is going to be Mordor oh. against Angmar. And Angmar oh. is the favorite and the main faction from Solas. Mr. Smog, Mordor is quiet. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Solas win. Solas win, but we are commentators. Yeah. We are not taking sides because that's gonna, yeah. that was happening in the World Championship, by the way. I, I had a lot of comments in the comment section below that commentators were, you know, taking sides. This is not allowed, so we are trying to be objective. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am objective, but I am. It's like um, you know, football commentators. They have favorite football player, and if they see them lose, they're like, ah, uh, you know. Okay. I'm not taking any sides, but if I have to pick, you know, I'm like, it's like you're a French commentator in the French World Cup, and you're for France, obviously, you know. You know yeah. What I mean? On <laughs> the right side, to be objective. They have almost the same colors, by the way, which is quite uh, unfortunate. On the uh, right side, we have the Moro player, Mr. Smog Boys from Ukraine, our former world champion who was winning the world championship in 2019 in September this year. And on the left side, we have the legend, Sodas from Germany, who was able to win against DJP in this tournament, not only once, but twice. <laughs> and yeah, this is going to be one of the most entertaining and exciting games to watch in this tournament for sure. And I hope we're gonna see some crazy, crazy comebacks and, you know, plays and unexpected stuff. I'm really hoping for it. Yeah, indeed. So um, basically, when you see Solas getting Angmar, it's gonna, it's gonna be some fiesta. <laughs> yeah, it's like, also, like Angmar mentioned, also... you know, it's yeah, a sorry, kind of situational, situational uh, thing. But, you know... What do you think about two orc pits into the Haradrim Palace that early into the game with three slaughterhouses only? I think it's fine because orcs are cheap, you know, so you can spam them and still upgrade your Haradrim Palace. With three with three solo houses, you can totally do that. On, um, the, on the other side, Solas yeah. has four mills already. Yeah, he's going uh, for force. He's going for the classic uh, two mills, one old third mill, and. Uh, two Thormaster, a full steel, and then uh, a second. Um, it's a safe build basically for Magmar. A second, uh, all of the king's men. Let's see if he will be able to take it down. He will be able to take the yeah. slaughterhouse down, by the way. Huge. This is very huge because if Smoke loses one of those, then indeed having the Arden Palace and two uh, Oak Pit is not gonna be viable for um, Smoke. Okay, Haradrim Palace just got level 2 by the way boys, that means we're gonna get some Haradrim Lancers on the field afterwards. He's trying to stall, both players were starting with the Warchant buff. Let's see if Somok will be using it offensively. But Extrovers from Solas are already in position to defend the attack from the Orcs. Orcs are cheap, but they are also very weak. They are getting taken down in seconds. The Slaughterhouse will be taken down potentially. And he might lose both the Slaughterhouses, man. This is... <coughs> Yeah, terrible so start for Mr. Smoke. Coming, but I think it will be too late. It yeah. might, he might get even uh, CP Oh, cap. he could, he, he killed the troll from the slaughterhouse. Yeah. With the fortress, I think. Yeah. Targeted. Very well, but very Solas well done. Is, uh, for now, untouched, and uh, yeah, early game goes to Solas, obviously. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, so right? Weak. It's Mordo faction early on, quite, quite weak. But we know, and we have seen this already many, many times. If Mordo reaches the late game. Moro yeah, is gonna be so strong. Exactly. Only thing is, Angmar late game is the best faction, I'd say. Um, like, it's just too strong. It's the best faction late game if you play it right. But the main weakness of Angmar is eco. And like, if you lose your army as Angmar late game, you will have a hard time getting 
troops back, getting getting heroes back, you know. But with Mordo, it's gonna be fine because Mordo has a pretty good eco, you know. Like game, it's got industry, it's got lumber mills. Yeah. MR is the weakest eco, so it balances itself out like this. But know? I would I would still say if the game goes like super late, let let's let's call the game like a one hour game, and Mordo has all the resources. I mean, Mordo oh, potentially yeah. gets two Felbies and a Witch King, you know. And yeah. those heroes, I they mean, are so impactful, especially on a big map like Westfold, they're gonna put in so much work. I mean, it just goes um, down to the player's decision and what's what's happening in the game. But if Agma, like I said, lose units, like if Mordo lose units, it's only gonna matter on the power point level because eco wise, they will replenish, you know, late game. They have a good eco late game. Nice, but nice pressure here from Mr. Smock, though. Yeah, indeed. One mill has but been if taken. Agmar, like, lose um, units uh, late game, it's still hard for, for Angmar to replenish the troops, so it's quite like uh, you have higher army advantage, but you also have lower uh, mystics uh, potential. Alright, Haradrim lands are Lancer, Lancer, level 2, nice trample on the extrovers, I like it. In the meantime, Solas is taking the second uh, war creep, he, he won't be able to, because the work was able to kill the Trout Master. But he was able to creep at the top right side. He didn't even pick up a treasure. Solas, my my friend, don't do that. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, Mr. Smoke is putting a lot of pressure on Solas. Right now, it's very good. Solas is still on two holes, and that's why he's not able to keep the the pressure and the um, I, I would say the spam. Oh, nice! And, um, I have Sauron. Yeah. Nice trample, could be better though. He could be killing the entire battalion, but I think he didn't want to risk the biscuit. And the, he's calling it GG already! Oh my god. 1 0 to start the game with for the player from Ukraine, Mr. Smog, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's the only game you will lose. Uh, I don't know about <laughs> that, man. Mr. Smog? Guys, don't underestimate Mr. Smog. I'm not, I'm not, I'm say, I look, I've seen many, many games from Mr. Smog. He was playing like from the group stage till the finals in the World Championship. This guy knows how to play 1v1 trust me look yeah, now yeah, music is saying angma sucks <laughs> very well done here from the player from ukraine mr smog being now 1-0 ahead and is two wins away from securing his place in the grand final for a potential cash prize of 100 dollars they're gonna edit the scoreboard real quick that's gonna take us a couple of seconds and yeah we're at the level where uh we're at the level where um Knowing how to play 1v1 is the most basic skill. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I mean, many, many people knowing how to play 1v1, but this guy is, knows how to execute and how to go for the victory. And Mr. No, Smog no. was able to win. I mean, he's not, look, he was, I think this is going to be a great series. I think that's going to be an unlucky start from Sola. So I, ho I really hope for five games. And at the end of the day, I don't mind, I don't mind who's going to win, you know? For me, it's more important that it's going to be fair games. And the player is going to have fun. And it's going to be entertaining and exciting to watch. This is for me the, my, uh, the main reason why I hope for five games. Okay, guys, the scoreboard is up to date. But we forgot about one thing. We need to, again, spin our wheel to see what's going to be the next map. As we're going to remove the map Westfold from the map pool. And now we're going to spin between those four maps left. And the next game is going to be Forts of Eisen. All right. In Forts of Eisen, as you know, guys, this is the most played map in all Battle for Middle Earth games ever. So I think everyone knows how to play on this map. Are we gonna play the winter version? No. No winter. No winter, because they are they are moaning. They don't like it. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, at, at this level, uh, you think much more of everything that you're doing. So it's like playing 1v1s uh, is not just playing 1v1s, you know, it's, it's just, you know, much more than just play 1v1. M more, like you said, most people know how to play 1v1s. That's just a basic skill. At this level, playing 1v1s is much, uh, much okay. more thoughtful. <clears throat> okay, they, they don't mind the winter edition. Some people were moaning about it, so it's up to players if they don't want to play it. All right. I mean, it's the same, so I don't see the problem. All right, let's get right into the next game. And the next map is going to be Forts of Ice into the Winter Edition. Uh, again, a random mirror, which is going to turn into the matchup of Angmar Mirror. Oh my God. Holy moly, guys. 
neutral host mirror so we're gonna see who is the best Dagmar here Vulkat my dude welcome to the stream everyone guys thank you so much for tuning in 64 viewers guys holy moly on the right side of the map we have the red Angma player Mr. Smog from Ukraine being 1-0 ahead of the green Angma player on the left side from Germany his name is Solas Solas main faction and zoom out of course that's why I was you know that's what I was fearing about because they're gonna complain about mm -hmm. the map and I don't have zoom out person. Do you have zoom out? I don't know. I'm I have normal zoom, I think. Yeah, me too. Hall of the Kingsman is coming up on the field. I think he wanna he wanna have zoom out, but he can't have it on this map. Maybe that's the that's the oh. thing he's complaining about. Anyways, mm -hmm. Angma Mirror on a neutral host, I think you can't ask more for more balance. So I hope that Solas is gonna win this in order to make it as entertaining and as interesting to watch as possible having an even score after the game number two would be the dream and yeah what do you guys think about mr smog's angma we know angma solas main faction he likes to play it but i don't i've not seen mr smog playing too much angma yet so i can't as really long tell as he doesn't do his fast black numenorian build <laughs> like last time it should be fine yeah i mean he's going for the trial master just like solas does so it's pretty yeah, even so right now. The one before. Yeah, a couple of seconds so before. He's gonna maybe creep on one side, we'll see. Yeah. He's gonna wait. And both players starting with the war chant buff, by the way. Very, very mirror-like mirror, mirror -like start for now. And we have seen already by the games from Solas against DGP, he likes to creep early on when he's playing the Angma faction uh, with the Spearman units. And Mr. Smok is first of all getting the Gundabats on the field. Ooh, and look at this. The Gundabats are heading, heading south. Maybe he's gonna meet uh, Solas? No, I when think Solas I is just going for sneaky, sneaky play with his Stormmaster right now. He's not <coughs> summoning. Yeah. He's waiting. Oh, never mind. He's gonna summon uh, more Gundabats. So two battalions, one moving from the bottom, one moving to the middle. The second mm -hmm. all of the Kingsman is up on the field for both the players, I'm assuming. Yes. And yeah, they are just passing through. Ignore. Yeah. Pick it up, you I think. Okay, let's see Solas if he can defend this mill, and let's see if Smoke can defend this one as well. Ooh, build a kill maybe. Ooh, oh my God, that was close. One more hit. Okay, Solas will lose this mill. Yeah, and Solas okay. was using the Warchan on one of these units, and that yeah. means he will only be able to kill one mill. Won't be able to kill two. On the other Smoke side, also uses, uh, watch and... this is a perfect mirror right now. <laughs> yeah, I think what they should be doing is yeah, never mind. I think that's okay, one mill has been taken down, the troll has been taken down as well. That means he was able to uh, kill the entire battalion. So far, it's quite it's even. So even, yeah, it's super even. One mill down for both, both use the watch at the same time. Yeah, with the same units, exact same build. And we're gonna take a look into the PowerPoint. So, PowerPoint by Solas is slightly ahead. About a quarter, he was two power, He was able to collect two power points for himself. 350 command points available for the German player Solas. 300 command points available for the player from Ukraine, Mr. Smog. He has a bit less cool uh, power points than Solas has, but nothing too crazy. He's moving to the creep at the right side of the river, and Solas is moving to the creep at the top left side of the map. I mean, Mr. Smog is all about to take yeah. two crawls, two creeps at the very same time, though. That's gonna yeah. boost his eco quite nicely. Yeah. And he might be even able to steal the treasure if he's the real, real pirate from Solas here with the Gundabats at the top right. <laughs> Let's see if he will be able to. Go for it. Take the treasure. I don't know if he saw. I think he doesn't see it, but Solas was able to see him. And he's about to yeah. take down those Gundabats real fast with these two battalions of Extrovers. On the other side... Getting those two creeps for, with Smoke is really gonna give him the advantage. Solas was able to take only one, yeah. and Smoke two. So right now, the advantage goes to Smoke. He also has more units on the field than Solas. Yeah, he has a bit more power points also now. Uh, but yeah, I think that's nothing too crazy. No, yeah, indeed. But uh, I think Smoke is gonna start to snowball a bit, and that's why uh, Solas is sending some aggression. Yeah. Senpai noticed me, of course, Wukat. Okay. They've had enough for now, or you'll feel my club. I think uh, we're gonna see a big war chant play soon, as soon as it's ready. Mr. Smoke has many many units for defensive purposes, but Solas is making perfect yeah. use of many many different pathways at the same time. 
leading with units through the middle, through the top, and through the bot side at the very same time. Makes it almost impossible for Mr. Smog to be at every single spot at the very same time. Very nice clamp for Solas. He's, he's able to get the axe for his melee. Yeah. And three battalions are still gonna take a lot of damage from only two. And on the other side, one mil from Mr. Smog has been taken down, which is really good. Smog is trying to put some counter pressure now by sending his units forwards. And we're gonna take a look into the power points now. Solas, the Angma player, has five and a half power points collected after starting with the Warchan. 450 command points available. On the other side, the I same amount of power points and 400 command points available for Mr. Smog. He should be able to take down this almost level 2 mil in the middle of the... In the, in the front of the fortress. Should be able to do that. Third minute... Third uh, hall is coming up for Oh, this Solas is gonna be close. Coming, coming up for Smog too. Yeah, he was able to de destroy the level 2 mil, which is really very, very well done here from Mr. Smog. I speak with the witch There's only voice. one... Uh, original meal, you know, of the first three that Smoke built alive. So if yeah. Smoke, uh, if Solas is able to get it, but there will be uh, he will have the advantage. Equalized. Yeah, but uh, that's being the same case right now for Solas. He has also the mill in the back from yeah. the beginning, so it's quite even. Like looking at yeah, the mirror, yeah. pretty much yeah, almost the same amount of power points, the same amount of command points. So the game is still open. The Trull was able to survive from Solas. He will be re reviving the other units from, uh, over time. Solas and Smoke are almost perfectly... have almost perfectly same amount of troops. Milf? <laughs> no, Mil, Mil. No take up for both the players right now. He might be able to finish this Mil with this almost a battalion of Extrovers. I think he will be able to do that. Very well done here from Solas. Another mill has been taken down from Solas in the meantime by Mr. Smok, who's also oh, using the bottom even. pathway pretty often. I think I've never casted or at least watched the games this even. Yeah, like they literally have the same amount of of common points and of yeah of this is crazy. power like, points. The same amount, 425 for both the players. Almost the same amount of command points. And yeah, this is looking very even. Even though I gotta give credits to Solas in this one, because Solas is not only choosing one pathway like what Mr. Smog does pretty much all game long. Mr. Smog, for example, was never using the topside pathway in the last three yeah. minutes. And Solas this push could be crazy though from the smoke. Yeah, Warchan available. Uh, Solas will have the dilemma of uh, do using this Warchan offensively or defensively, and I think he will choose defensively. Although it's not a Sure. Yeah, he's gonna yeah, use defensively. Be. And Felvin is ready from Mr. Smog, though. Felvin is ready, will be used now. Mm. Nice mm. Felvins. Oh, no. That's not very good. He used Felvin, and now all the Orcs are in melee range of his axe force. <laughs> yeah. Solas is going for the special summon. I'm assuming he has almost 10 power points collected now. He has 10 now. He's gonna go for offensive Orc summon, I'm assuming. The mill has been There's taken no down. defense from Smoke as well. Yeah. Well, but Solas has a better defense right now. But Mr. Smog, I mean, Solas just lost a level 2 mil in the backside, so he doesn't yeah. have any level 2 mil, and he's gonna go for the summon orc special summon. Alright, here we go. That's a very important push. Because, he's, yeah. because if he's able to take down uh, production buildings like that, the spam is gonna be much weaker from Smoke, and Solas will literally have big advantage over Smoke. Yeah. We're gonna focus on that fight real quick. The whole of the Kingsman will be taken down as Ooh, Mr. Smog. is ready though. Oh, nice, nice timing. Nice. Oh my god, it's not even close. <laughs> That's gonna delay and buy some time. But I mean, Solas lost a lot of structures, especially the level 2 structure was actually hurting him big time. The level 2 mil yeah. from Solas is being in a safe spot right now, and he will be able to get many, many units over time from the tool of the Kingsman he's able to use. The Orc special yeah. summon will now, be gone. If Solas snowball from now, he wins. Uh, basically, what happened is that uh, Smoke sent everything in a big push, while Solas went for, like you said, from the north, from the uh, the west. Yeah. And, uh, he had defense uh, waiting. He w he scouted this big force, and he had defense waiting at his base, ready to defend the mill. And then he knew, like he arrived like, at Smoke base, and only one battalion was defending from Smoke, while Solas had four battalion in defense. Yeah. And also so, the Felvin was a mistake, definitely. He could have waited yeah. for the Orc special summon. He was really close. <laughs> And could have, you, could have used a bit bigger, you know, war chance onto those units and deal much more damage than he did. In the meantime, yeah. Solas was also able to take down the level 2 mil in the backside. So, so uh, Mr. Smok is sitting only on 350 command points and Solas has 550. That's a significant lead. 
his smoke went for the Oak Special Shaman, like you said, he could have defended. Yeah. And his move would have made much more sense because then he has the defense force and he has a bigger attack force than Solas. Yeah. So it would have been so much better like that, actually. He's gonna demolish everything, I'm assuming now. Nah, he's still holding. He doesn't want to give up yet. Ooh, Fulgunda are coming. Yeah. Massive army from Solas is leading at this point. The Hall of the Kingsman has been taken down. That means uh, Mr. Smog has only one Hall of the Kingsman left. And really bad eco. 300 command points. He's gonna be kept very soon. And Solas is about to keep the pressure up by sending more and more units forward. Felwyn is ready for Solas, so if he's able to get those axe rovers in melee, he's gonna kill them easy. Yeah. Watch is ready again. And smoke has nothing. I speak with the witch king's voice. This could be GG. This could be GG I mean, at this was, point. Yeah, GG, GG move was earlier, you know, <laughs> with the orcs special summon in the smoke no base. I mean, we never know. Yeah. Night clump. And Snowbind is not even ready, so he's gonna lose that. Yeah, that means he, mo he won't be able to make any more units. To attack, but it's just too much spam, spam from uh, from Solas. And Solas is just, uh, just has to do a fell win on these axe throwers and he wins. He wins this fight. Yeah. No more production building on the field for smoke. So you cannot produce. I mean, he has at the top right side. Yes, two two mills. Uh, production building, you know, like um, to make troops. Uh, no, Hall of the Kingsman. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's indeed. <clears throat> I mean, he's not giving up this tournament game. Let's yeah. not forget, guys. He's trying to make another Hall of the Kingsman now. I'm assuming. Yeah. In front. I mean, the thing is that oh, never mind. Snowbind was used actually from Solas to keep this mill safe. Um, yeah, the thing is that Solas has three all of the Kingsmen, and obviously he will be just out spamming Mr. Smog before Mr. Yeah. Smog will be able to get more all of the Kingsmen on the field. And also his eco is looking very very bad. And all Solas has to do is just defense attack and move with a big army forward, use the yeah, war chance. Okay, he's building a troll and a wolf then. I, I would have went for a fourth all or Mogomir maybe to get the food fast. You know, Mogomir yeah. is very good against buildings. But sure, maybe he wants to get some ill trolls. Yeah, I think just, you know, better safe than sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. you don't want to rush. Like you said, in a tournament game, you want to secure your victory. Venom, yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you so much for the follow, appreciate it. Time to move. Oh, look at the... Troops of uh, smoke in the top uh, left. <laughs> yeah. Healing over time. <laughs> yeah, but he will need more than this. Uh, yeah. They're like, hey, guys, let's let's take the Solas waters. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Solas is just being everywhere, and Mr. Smoke can't really do anything about that. He's being super, super kept. Can't make more units. Yeah. 10 power points collected now I by Mr. Smog. Can go for the Orc special summon if he wants to. And he's gonna go for the Ooh. Troll at the top I right side. This probably. Is so good. Or at the bottom left side. At the oh, bottom left yes. side. Oh, yes. Ah, I love this. There we go. <laughs> I love this. I mean, he's like, I don't have any army, but I can make some cave trolls if I want to. Exactly. There we go. What about cave troll rush? Yeah. You know? The Wolf Riders are coming now. Try to bait Solas into an aggressive uh, Snowbind, and then you can take... To take the fort with he doesn't he doesn't have the snowbind anyway available <laughs> yeah indeed. i mean he, he needs at, at least three trolls to take the fort yeah and four would be the safe like uh you will, you will lose one for he's calling it gg now that's gonna oh, make his score geez. even again boys one one after the game number two and we're gonna jump into the tiebreaker game game number three and we have very nice game Still a couple Very of maps nice. left, obviously. We have the maps Eastfold left, Jungles of Fararat left, and Forts of Eisen uh, 3 left, if I'm not mistaken. No, never mind. I think Forts of Eisen 3 got banned, right? From the pool? Yeah, Smoke banned. And Eric got banned too. Okay, that means we have Plains of Lindon, Eastfold, and... Um, what else? Let me check. Plains of Lindon, Jungles of Fararat, and Eastwold are left. All right, very nice. We're going to spin our wheel again. And the next game will be played on the map Plains of Lindon, boys. Nice. One of the, of the top three maps favored by Solos. 
Yeah, and it's one of my favorite maps definitely also to see. I, I like this design of the map. It's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, so good. Okay, let's jump right into the next game. Soon Solas will release a new map, by the way, called Soro Isles, and it's going to be the best resolution map. <laughs> I'm calling it. It's just so good, man. You will see. Uh, yeah, before we, got, before we get into it, let me actually give the points to those who are predicting it correctly, right? One second, though. Before I forget about it, so Solas was the winner of the previous game, and that means we have a 1-1 one -one situation. The next game will give a big advantage to the player who wins that, because he will only be one win away from securing his place in the grand final. And the bets are open now. <clears throat> Okay, boys, I'm ready. Planes of Lindon is gonna be the game, the map for the game number three. Random Mirror once again. We have seen Angmar against Mordu in the first game. We have seen Angmar Mirror in the second game. What are we gonna see now? Solas was two Ooh. games Angmar in a row. And Isengard, Isengard against Elves. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I nice, like so. On the top side of the map, we have the white Isengard player Solas from Germany, boys. And on the bottom side, we have the blue album player Mr. Smog from Ukraine. The score, as you can see at the top side of your screen, is even 1-1. This is maybe, I mean, maybe Solas can win this one with the Isengard. And that's going to be, you know, a double win for Solas. Because not only he will be one step closer to the grand final, but also he can kind of make those people silence who are always seeing Elf's OP. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I can't wait for that. <laughs> but but if Smog wins that, I think we're gonna see many many people spamming in the chat. Oh, elves yeah. OP, elves OP, elves OP. <laughs> if it's a forty minute games, how elves are OP? You should win in like anyway, whatever. Stable start from <laughs> from Mr. Smog, by the way, boys. Stable start. Yeah. It's gonna be um, a stable what delete. What I really I love about this matchup is that it's one of the most balanced matchup in the game. It's just so good, man. It's just so good to play, it's so fun. I love to play as Elves in this matchup, I love to play as Aizen in this matchup. More, I prefer Aizen in this matchup, I don't know, I just prefer it better because and stuff. But, um, okay. I, I just love this matchup, man. And, um, <clears throat> like, the only matchup where you can say Elf OP is uh, Goblins against Elves. It's much harder for Goblins and so much easier for Elves. That's the only matchup I, I would accept to, to see Elf OP otherwise. Like, and maybe Mordo, but Mordo has much more option than Goblins, and actually is fine. But uh, really, more like Goblins against Elves is really very hard for Goblins. You need to 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 be a much more of a master of the game to, to beat it. But yeah. So otherwise, all the other matchups, like this matchups, perfectly balanced. Angmar against Elves, perfectly balanced. You know, and uh, like um, yeah, actually Angmar against Elves, Elves is less fa favored than uh, Angmar. So there is a couple matchups where Elves is actually weaker. Yeah! And actually, Isengard against Elves, in version 7 for sure, Elves were, was getting wrecked. And in this version, I think Isengard is still favored early game. Let's see if uh, this Cav is going to catch this uh, sword. I, hope. I think I think he will so. Ooh, okay, he sees so. them now. Yeah. Yeah. That's big. I mean, he's trying Ooh, to stop. Oh, my Ooh, God. Best oh trample. My God. Best trample ever. <laughs> Entire Talon has been taken down. Perfect timing so with the rallying call and aggressive stance. He switched, switched immediately back to the normal stance. Yeah, the what entire happened here battalion. is he dealt flank damage, and so he one-shotted everything with the rally call. But if he ca if he sees the crossbar man in the back, that's gonna be fiesta. And the Urukai that costs four hundred each. Four hundred each. I don't know why Solas started with a, fa a normal Uruk start. This is the most basic start, but let's see. Let's see. I mean, Solas has still the Warshan available, but the early game with the beautiful trample with the uh, horse starts demolish from the stable. It's gonna favor Mr. Smok, obviously. He will not be only able to take down the Urukai with one trample only, but also two furnaces will be taken down as the lances are hitting level two. They caught even on, but now we gotta be careful. Oh my god, nice micro. Was almost running okay. into the bikes. This was a calf delete, by the way. So yeah. if you lose the calf, no more calf for for uh, for Solas to deal with, and Form you can just spam swords. Yeah. Which is much better. Exactly, but he was he was able to save the battalion and they are also level two, that means they're gonna heal up, up over time. And I think it was quite worth to start with this with the horses because oh, yeah. you know he was able to kill two furnaces and the Urukai. So yes. definitely Very worth nice. it. Oh yeah, totally. 
And he's even going for a second run. I'm not sure about this. Crossbowman, go, go, go. Builder. The builder. Builder. Oh my god. Don't die. Saw us. He's blocked. Oh, oh. Oh my Just god. Too... Not even close, guys. Not even close. Look, the build is... What? The build is... Un... You can't target the build. He was moving all the way around the furnace. What the <laughs> heck? Thank god. Look at yourself. <laughs> Not even close, like you say. <laughs> and on the right side, the war creep was taken down from Solas. And Mr. Smok is all about to do the same on the left side with those loading archers. Remember, Mr. Smok has now two barracks on the field. At this point, he's just gonna spam pikes, swords, and many, many archers. Yeah. And well, yeah. Um, Solas is going for the classic build. He really did, did, did the very classic stuff. Two farms, one Uruk sword, you rush with a buff, and then you make warp bits. Yeah. But uh, this is countered by just spamming um, um, loyal archers and pikes, kinda. Yeah, he's also making a statue here. <laughs> And here's the watch on advantage. Remember, rallying call was used previously. It's being yep. on cooldown, yep. can't yep. be used yep. now. Yeah, has a very good window here of doing, dealing some damage. Ooh, careful the calf. If he gets the flank damage with the calf, it's gonna be devastating. I mean, he's okay. baiting with the calves, but he might lose them now. Uh, Crossbowmen are hitting like a truck, Ooh, and yes, the very Lancer nice. Battalion has been taken down. Very well done here from Solas, and okay, unfortunate for Mr. Smog. But the statue is finished, so Solas yeah. is gonna go back. I think this, war this was still worth it. Killing the calf is really huge here. But he will have the war uh, rallying call now available. Yeah. He can use it now if he wants to. There we go. Yeah. But I think he should have waited until the, the war chance is gone. Are, are dying if uh, crossbowman has the first shots. Yeah. <clears throat> and now I think he needs to make a move because war chant will be gone <laughs> off soon from those units and he will have the buff advantage. Work pack, this is nice. There is only one pike unit on uh, for smoke on the battlefield, so if he gets work riders in time what and kills the, the pikes, all those loyal archers are gonna die. Fiesta, like instantly. yeah. But the work packs are getting what taken down immediately here. Yeah. Smoke is trying to do a uh, elven shit ball, as we call this it. Is the way. It's just a big army, and you attack. Yeah. But uh, let's see. He's gonna be able this to take really, down the furnace. The game is really, he did really put Solas in a bad situation. Definitely, especially with the calf start. I mean, luckily he was able to take down the Lindon, uh, the the Revenger Lancer Battalion from Mr. Smog. But yeah. still, you know, I think Mr. Smog is being in Solus overall in a better situation right now. Yeah, Solas is still doing with pikes. You should better do swords because the swords uh, are still gonna tank as much and they're gonna kill the pikes yeah. uh, in melee. So it's better to. Now he needs to retreat. The war riders they're gonna be soon on the field. Uh, Mr. Smok is trying to sneak more units through the right side. And so far, Mr. Smok is being in a really great shape. He has 560 command points available, was able to make more and more units. Ready for battle. Um, on the other side, four power points only for Solas. So Solas is not only being two power points behind, but also almost one over 100 command points behind. And I, I think Solas can still come back. Look, he's sneaking some uh, furnace in the top. It's not over. Yeah, it's not over and yet, smoke, of course not. He, he smoke is just spamming lore in archers and pikes, uh, which is like the basic Elven gameplay. If he doesn't do heroes, if he doesn't do nuke woods, Solas will win. Like, uh, because he, he just knows how to deal with this, you know? Yeah. Although and this push is looking scary, there's no buff ready, so... Yeah. And uh, it's mostly archers. Stay in so this is just scary, like... Um, those Uruk swords who are gonna come out are gonna get sniped. That's why you do this as an elf to just don't kill units. Yeah. And yeah. But I mean, you don't. You know, losing Urukai is also gonna hurt you big time because they cost 400 each. Yeah, so. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. In the meantime, Solas is creeping the Luke troll at the top the, left. The trees here. Very nice move using yeah. the stealth. Kraben will be used to see yeah. in the trees. And debuff. Ooh, this Ooh. jumper was bad. Running, though. running into the pike man. He's gonna lose the entire ten of Fork Riders. Uh, he's giving so much power points to the yeah. Elven player. Just he's gonna get ten soon. Points. Yeah, he can get Elven for us or Elven yeah. missed. And I think he's going for a hero. Maybe he's going for Glowfinger for, for sure. He just used the, um, his money yeah. for this. That's why I don't like to see Warg Riders in this matchup. It's not viable. Uh, I mean, in this situation where the Elf do that you know and do it and stop doing a uh, cav and stop like and do heroes and just elven infantry it's better not to have cav or maybe just one you know and focus on getting lugs if you get lugs glowfindel is gonna die and getting more uruks maybe axe throwers who are very tanky against the um, elven archers you know i prefer this to war yeah. but if he plays war right 
and he gets a, a nice trample, they're gonna be better. It's just I'm just so scared of um, giving power points to the Elven uh, infantry, and then he gets. Oh, so nice trampling coming! <laughs> Nice Ooh, one. That's nice. nice one. Although he didn't have the all ability. Uh, and now the Elven is gonna. Oh, uh, yeah, but he should be not it? running right into the. It, uh, he should be looking for a flank. Uh, but and he was not even it. able to kill the archers in the front. They got damaged, yeah, but. And we have. That's why I don't like to. Enshrouding mist picks. That's why I don't like to get only one cav. Is because you give so much power points to the adversary and it's not. He's dealing nothing because there is too many packs. So and I think cav is, was a bad choice. Too yeah. expensive and uh, and Glorfindel is on the field, boys. In the meantime, pikemen are focusing on the Malon trees, and this is looking very bad for Solas. He's gonna lose the Uruk pits first. He doesn't have any war riders on the field. He has three battalions of crossbow and, and one battalion of Urukai. More units are moving through the top left side to deal to, to deal some counter thing damage. For buildings here are uh, just spikes and, and now pikes are out of position. You know, but you, you need to kill those many archers. You need at least two uh, war units. Uh, Wog Riders units, but yeah. now Glorfindel is here, and if Glorfindel gets level three, he gets a Blade of Purity, and if you get heal and couple uh, units, you can you can take the expansion. Board, that's a bit later. I mean, the Alvin player will be forced to retreat now. In the meantime, Solas was actually nicely focusing on the creeps. Indeed, he was able to take down the top right, top left, and the yeah. bottom right troll creep. As you can see, the, uh, as long as the elf is just focusing too much on archers, he cannot do much in the base. He can only spawn kill. Yeah, I mean he can so, just go so for ants boots now. Himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's gonna get some milk boots now, by the way, from the level two yeah, barracks okay. as well, which is pretty nice. Milk boots are gonna be a problem, especially when you don't have lugs. That's why I don't like Cav in this matchup anymore. Uh, at least with this elven build, of course, it always depends on the situation. But I, I don't like Cav when elf goes double barrack. Solas is getting some lumber meals to boost his eco, but uh, Mr. Smog is sneaking a couple of those units forward, and he will be able to take down be, more furnaces. Yeah. This is gonna be rough for uh, for Solas, really. Warchant from Solas was used offensively at the bottom okay. left side. Let's see how much damage he will be able to deal here. But yeah, sooner Milkwood's gonna join and Milkwood's gonna smash those units. Yeah, I'm really not sure about this Warchant, to be honest. Look at all the low in archers coming, and now Milkwood. Yeah. It's gonna be useless. And Smoke is gonna have the radical advantage. Although, uh, yeah, here we go. Wildman summon defensively, but he's gonna kill all these seven top. Very nice. Yeah. Ooh, look at Glorfindel too. He's very low, so he will need to regenerate. Nice defensive okay, nice. from Solas. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Was but able to buy the power points he was needing, you know, with the Warchant being used offensively and killing a couple of those units. And here's the inner under this control at the bottom right side. Glorfindel is gonna capture the inner at the top left side for himself. Glorfindel is level 3 and was also using the Blade of Purity offensively in the previous fight. But the Mirkwoods are gonna join the fights now and... And, you know, he doesn't have loots on the field, he doesn't have any war riders on the fields. It's gonna be super hard to deal with the them. Lands. Because Wildman of Dunland specials, I mean, it has a huge cooldown as well. Yeah, if he gets Lurks... It'll we be so much better. Look and maybe Sharku. Getting some nice eco from uh, Arasing a bit here. He's trying to get some black orcs from the inn. He should be able to. They are almost out. He was yeah, also hiding with nice. the pikes around this area. Five yeah, power points collected. Completely blind the from the right side at the yeah. I think uh, Solas bought a hero. Uh, I'm not sure what I think. It's Lurz on the field already. Oh, okay, never mind. Lurz is here, boys. Okay, if Luke gets level 4, Glorfindel will die. Uh, in a I, I don't know, though. I don't know. In a 1v1, you, I don't think that Lurz is gonna be able to kill Glorfindel. If, if Glorfindel is low. Yeah, if Glorfindel is low, yes. But, you know, I think in a 1v1, Bleed of Purity is so strong, it's, it beats the carnage. carnage from yeah, Lutz. you need a, a good move. Like, uh, when you see Glorfindel using his blade, then you wait, and then boom, you get, yeah. you get him, you know? But here he could die. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he's not gonna die. Let's see if he picks Eel. No, it doesn't pick healing even, but it's not going to be necessary. Damage. On the other side, now Solas has a couple of units at the bottom right side. Solas is actually being able in to put always counter pressure and to, you know, draw the attention from Mr. Smog for defensive purposes. It's going to not be super significant okay. because yeah, the mid boots. If they, get the, if they get the level 2 furnace, that's so bad. Okay, they didn't. Thank God. He might because lose this level 3 mil, uh, level 3 slaughterhouse. Uh, I mean, Malon 3. <laughs> 
Okay. We'll move to level 3 Malon tree here, to the Black Orcs. That's... that's nice. Very well done here from Sodas. Might even be able to take down this one. Maybe he's going for another hero. Oh, okay, he's got Aldir now. Ooh, Ooh nice shots good. from two. Okay. okay, bad radical in my opinion, yeah. because he has only archers and... Like, Solas is like, okay, you just use your radical, no problem, I'm just gonna be back, wait until it cools off, and then I attack you. Yeah. Exactly, and he has also Haldir now on the field, by the way, boys. Once Haldir is level 5, he will also have the leadership. It stacks with the Rallying Call. It looks like Solas wanna commit, which is a mistake. I'm not sure about this. It yeah, just fights. Now. I don't know why he wanted to pick this fight, that's bad. Look, the pikes are getting killed in a second. I would have to wear off, you know? Yeah. But he kind of, you know, he didn't lose much, and he was, yeah, he was yeah. kind of wasting his war chant, but baiting the use of the Enchanted Mist. Solas also true, used the true. Devastation, so to boost his eco a bit. Devastation is giving you a decent amount of resources. He's building towers, and I can't believe, but this game is not over yet, boys. And Solas has still a potential to win this game, as he was able to kill most yeah. of the uh, level 2 and level 3 Malon trees from Mr. Smog with one battalion of pikemen and one battalion of black orcs. Yeah. And look at uh, Smoke, uh, the command points. He doesn't have a lot. Yeah, he doesn't have and a lot. And Solas has a bit more. Right exactly. Now. And Solas is and again, like in the previous game, you know, using those three pathways, middle, top, left, right, he's being everywhere. And yeah. Mr. Smoke is just mainly an exclusive focusing on one pathway only. Okay. And yeah. Look what, is, uh, look what Solas is doing. He knows Smoke can only push with his heroes on this fold race. He knows the only threat to his buildings here are the heroes. So what he's doing is upgrading his fold with towers. And now if Smoke wants to take the fold race, he cannot. Even with Eel and Glorfindel and Aldi, he cannot. There's too much defense here, you see? Yeah, yeah. And now he's putting his force into attack because he's like, well, you have only archers in my base and heroes. I don't care. I'm just going to push your base. You have nothing And Warc Riders are here. They might be able to catch those Mirkwoods. The forest, oh, but Mirkwoods are even strong against them. Oh my god, Mirkwoods are dealing so much damage even to the Warc Riders with the hole. But he was able to take down the entire battalion of Mirkwoods here, which is pretty nice. They cost almost 800 each. Smog being kept command point wise right now, can't make more units, and he's forced to retreat. What Solas is waiting, he's waiting for the Wildman summon, and uh, Smoke knows this, he's getting back to base now. Yeah, and also Smoke has to take this... care of the map control a bit, you know? What's very important is look, Solas did the Krabian upgrade on the fortress. He sees half the map, he sees what Smoke is doing, he sees what Smoke is thinking, he's like, okay. And now he coordinates his, his move uh, precisely with this information. He knows exactly where the elves are. Yeah. He just has to avoid this army and he will win. Until he gets a better army, of course. He's getting a lot of eco, he's creeping. Well, creeps are done now, but he was creeping before. Yeah, and he's also using, you know, those black orcs coming from the inn to pressure a bit more. Ooh, looks though. Oh, Lurz is getting out. Out speed. is ready. Oh my god, looks. What? Oh my god. But he was using okay. the Blade of Purity. Oh, never oh mind. Haldir. Level okay, 4 Haldir now. I don't know. That's gonna kill many, many crossbowmen here. Yeah, oh, it's gonna kill, but you could have taken the fort with the Eagle, man. I don't know, man. There are so many expansions around it. Yeah, hmm. but you have uh, Glowfindel, Haldir, Heal, and some pikemen, and Eagle, if they can take the fort, I think. I think well, it's I just, you know, they want to they wanna, they wanna secure, you know. He was just want to yeah. fight for the map control, deny him the resource income, deny him the command points. Yeah, he's just, I'm not sure about the, using a 15 power point on, on such a region. Right? Wildman of Dunland special, I mean, from Solas at the bottom right side at the end, and he was also using the war chant. Will this, be for, will this force mm -hmm. Mr. Smog to go back? That's going to be the main question. Because those Wildmans, they're going to hit like a truck. Even though he has one battalion of Mirkwoods for defensive purposes, will this be enough? I'm not sure about this. Although... Yeah, let's see. Okay, was also... level three farm, though. Oh, the Mirkwoods, they are so strong. Holy moly, look at this damage output of them. Buff or no buff, doesn't really matter. The, the white men are dying in a second and a half. Yeah, they're the best archers in the game. Almost level four. Resources. It's yeah. almost as much as a hero, 800. Yeah, so. they are quite expensive, and you can see how strong they actually are. And they have a lot of, yeah, they have a lot sure of range. Yeah, I'm not sure about using the buff and the wild man summon on such a small unit by Solas there. Yeah. I'm really unsure about that. He's sending more black orcs also from the inn at the bottom right side. Remember the bot top left in got captured now by Mr. Smok. We're gonna take a look into the power points and command points. Solas has 400 command points only. Krabine, War Chance, Wildman of Dunland and Devastation plus 8.5 power points collected. Nice trample with the Wolf Riders here. 
He might be able to take down many, many. Not never mind. He won't be able to. On the other side, nine power points collected after having rallying call, enshrouding mist, and the eagle special summon from Mr. Smock. Six hundred command points available. Level one. Yeah. I'm gonna grab some XP here. Blade of Purity will be used. Rallying Call will be used as well. And Shrouding Mist, he's fully committing to that side. But it's gonna be I'm hard sure to deal damage. Again, you cannot push. You cannot push. You can only destroy the farm and then what? You know? Yeah. I mean, he will try to get the fort maybe? He doesn't have heal, he can't take it. Oh, Lourdes is taking too much damage here from the Glorfindel. Yeah, he's gonna run. Walk Riders. Walk Riders, but. Be with those because you don't yeah. want to feed the enemy. Yeah, exactly. When oh you are trampling. Oh my god, I didn't see the common points of Solas. He's on 350. That's yeah. very bad. He's being super capped. I mean, he was losing many, many things. That's why the Eagle Special Summon from Mrs. Mock was used at the top left side. He was yeah. cleaning the sides. And that was the only thing what Solas had over Mr. Smog. Mr. Smog finally realizes, okay, Solas is getting way too much resources, so I have to take care of the map control, I have to take care of the sites. That's exactly what he's doing. Fishing for more power points, 700 command points, 13 power points against 411 power points collected by the players. And yeah, I think the lead game kind of favors the Alvin player at this stage because he's getting more and more midwoods on the fields. Hildir is gonna be re level 5 pretty soon. Glorfindel is gonna be strong 1v1 champion, 1v1 hero anyway. And... Uh, giving power points with a warg on the bottom. Yeah. Smoke was al as almost uh, second 15 power already. He could yeah. get... Uh, he could get cloud break. Cloud break. Yeah. But at this stage oh, maybe my... cloud break is not gonna be the best choice, you know? Yeah, Elven Wood could be good. Elven Wood, or just try to. I think you need to get what you, what you need to get to get the end special summon first. Uh, you need to get uh, Elven Wood. <laughs> yeah, Elven Wood into the ends could be a possibility, because you yeah. need ends Elven to crush good. this fortress, in my opinion. Like, I mean, you don't even need the ends here. You just need Eel, Elven Wood, and you can't get both with 15 power. And you put your pikes. I mean, all your melee troops uh, in uh, against the fortress. Glorfindel and Aldir in melee mode. And you can get the fortress and upgrade it like that. Yeah. Legolas is on the field. Legolas is here. By the way, the prince of the Mirkwood elves. Or the Mirkwood archers, obviously. To support them. This is very rough. Being at this stage and not having upgrades. Having a bad eco for Solas. Yeah. Made a mistake with those wild men, in my opinion. And Lourdes still only being level 1. So far, far away from getting anywhere close to the cripple with and the level 4. The cavalry, the cavalry feed it much more smooth than it did damage. It yeah. killed, okay, it killed a couple of battalions of archers. But, but the ballistas are putting in so much work here on those units. Yeah, very but, nice, very nice trying to kill here. Yeah. And he was gaining so much power point. No, actually not. He has also berserker units on the field to, for the for the pressure on the map. Coming from the level 2 Urukai, Uruk I mean. Sharku is on the field now. <coughs> nice, nice, nice. 16 and a half power points collected by Mr. Smuck. Is he going for the 25 power points? What do you think? Maybe. I mean, that could be an option too. I think he needs to, to kill the uh, expansions around the fortress. Maybe. Yeah, getting to the 25 would be the safe choice. Yeah, and he's really close. I mean, he's like, what, 8 power points behind? Uh, 8 power points yeah. away from that? It's yeah. nothing too crazy, boys. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, yeah, he can, he can. Ooh. Tainted land will be ready, will be picked from Solas, by the way. Tainted land. And Smooth is on, is on the field. He's not building any ends for now. Could be. And look the, ends, GG. <coughs> yeah, and look the tainted land from uh, Solas. It gives you also resources for kills. I didn't know that. Indeed, indeed. Which is pretty nice. Yeah, pretty. That's, that's why Isengard is the best eco in the game. Almost like he, it has so much powers that gives uh, money, you know. Yeah, maybe devastation. I mean, not devastation, but um, field of fires could be a nice choice as well. Mm, could be, but mm, he has only one lumber mill and he's getting harassed every time. Yeah, that's true. Lutz still only level one, guys, for the last ten minutes. And I think he's waiting also for a Nelvan, a Nelvan wood from the other player, then can put the tented load over it. Yeah, but that's not the plan. <laughs> He's moving forwards now. And Mood is up on the field for Mr. Smoke anyway. Yeah, this is... Too many bad choices in this game from Solos. Yeah, you know, he's going for the Forge. I mean, Mr. Smoke has decent amount of resource income. 850 command points. I think Legolas was not even necessary. You don't need Legolas. But with Legolas on the field and Haldir being highly ranked, this Lutz can't really do much. 
Okay, Tenten was used here. I disagree again. It's not very strategic here. What are you going to accomplish here? Not sure. Like the all two, the last two wild oh. men were weird, just like this one. But he was able to With kill the, the builder and get 125 from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, it's nothing, you know. Yeah. At this point, you need like game changer uh, use of power points. Exactly. But, and he was also using no, he didn't use the warchan at least. And Mr. Smoke only three power points away from getting 25, boys. Again, a late game here. What we are watching, Sharku is leaping forwards. He's trying, He's trying to, to pressure. Put pressure. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to bring the elf back home, but the elf doesn't need to go back home. He can just end the game with what he has. Every time I, I tell people heroes units count like uh, investment, you know? As long as they're alive, you are fine. Even if you lose all your buildings, uh, as long as they're alive and they can deal damage back, you're fine. If you lose them, that's like if you lose structures, if you lose barracks, it's the same. It's an investment that you lose. I mean, he's putting nice pressure now with the Wildman, and every time they attack the structures, he's gaining some resources. But the end yeah. is already smashing the fortress, killing one of the ballista expansions around it. And, so, um, and uh, Mr. Smoke only one and a half power points, even a bit less away. But the ballistas are taking down the end, though. As soon as you get. Ooh, okay, nice. And will be taken down now. Fire ammunition, so. Because if you don't know, if you have the fire munition in the fortress, the ballista also do fire damage against them. Okay. Uh, 25 is very close for smoke. As, so, as soon as he gets it, it's GG because he has yeah. uh, Rufindel, Aldir, Legolas. He's just gonna he's use it on the fortress, kill all the expansions around it. And yeah, yeah I mean, Solas doesn't have any or enough units to defend himself. But the Watcher from Solas is gonna be ready. Very nice. The Watcher can do some work. Yeah, Watcher can actually be Ooh, a yeah. go. The game turned the move here. Very nice. Oh my god, this is a comeback maybe. Oh my godness. Everything has been he, taken he down almost. He just killed all the Elven forces. Yeah. What's Everything. Is on the heroes. He's gone. Yeah. I've had enough! I've had enough. This crossbow man. Very I've seen. nice. Very nice. I mean, on the bright side, he's, he has now flute and eagles ready. Both he's are ready. so much builder too. He just killed another Elven he can, builder. He can kill the fortress. Flute oh, and eagles. He's going for it. He's going for it. Yeah. Here we go. And eagle summon. Yeah. Oh my god. GG. Glorfindel, Slate of Purity. It's like, you kill my army, I don't need anything more oh, but my heroes. Solas, yeah. not even calling it GG, and the game will be won by Mr. Smog. 2 1 now for the player from Ukraine. Solas has to win the next game in order to have a chance to reach the grand finals. Otherwise, Mr. Smog will make it to the finals if he ends up winning the next game. Main mistake from Solas is feeding too much Cav. Every time he did cavalry, as you saw, he was going into the Elven army, losing them. And cavalry gives one power point and 20, uh, basically, Shanks. To get one more one power point, you need 60 experience All right. points. So we're going to edit the scoreboard real quick, guys. One second. Yeah. So as I was saying, to get one power point, you, get, you need 60 experience points. When you kill an entire bat a battalion of war warriors, you, get, you gain 80 experience points. So you gain one power point point and a third of another one. So every time you see a one entire We're gonna spin our wheel guys, one second. Uh, one this map that we have just seen was Plains of Lindon. Now we're listening? gonna spin our wheel. <laughs> and the next game will be played on the map Jungles of Farharat. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Yeah, I was saying, uh, if you kill an entire battalion of cavalry of war warriors, you get one power point and more. So every time we see this much cavalry die and doing so little damage, it's such a good trade for smoke. And that's why um, Solas lost this game power point wise. He lost it power point wise mainly, and mainly because of this choice of going cavalry uh, against double barracks of uh, elves. It doesn't work. Okay. Like if the elven. Went more cavalry heavy than I would uh, totally see Shaku and Cav, but Shaku was good. Maybe one cavalry with Shaku is the, mass, the most you get, but you should get like cavalry as a third building, maybe. It didn't do anything for him in this game. <clears throat> Send me some points, man. Uh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> My cousin bet 1000 without asking me, please give me money back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys, the bets are open now, and Solas is being in a really rough situation. 2-1 situation for Mr. Smok. Our world champion is being slightly ahead. And next game will be Jungles of Farharat, a map which was designed and made by Solas. 
Ey, in Solas hast du in das Game. Ja, ja, hast du. I mean, Solas has really big fans. Everyone is betting on Solas, regardless how bad the situation looks. I mean, now he has to win. Now he has depression. Mr. Smog is actually being in a safe situation. Mr. Smog can play a bit more chilled because even if he loses that, we're gonna just reach the game number five. But if Mr. Smog ends up winning that one, it's gonna be 3 1 and Mr. Smog will be in the finals. This guy doesn't know how to find the maps with one click. I don't have this map. What? This is jungles. Yeah, but what? I don't have this. No, not, you are not this one. Oh. Not this. I don't have it. No man. You can bet two thousand five hundred. You can bet five thousand in this one. By the way, <laughs> five thousand points are allowed. Let me check. Yeah, this is the map. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, good. All right, boys and girls, let's jump right into the game number four. Again, a random mirror. This time we're gonna see the matchup on the map Jungle of Farharat. 77 viewers. Angmar against Goblins. Oh, I love it. I know exactly I know exactly what to do as Angmar in this matchup. So let's see if Solas does the right choice. Okay, I mean, I'm, Solas can't really moan about uh, factions he's gaining because he got like from four games now three times Angma, and this is his favorite faction. At the top side of the map, we have the blue goblin player Mr. Smok, and at the bottom side, we have the yellow Angma player Solas from Germany. Solas being 2 0 2 1 behind, and he has to win this one in order to reach the game number five, the tiebreaker, the final game in the semi finals between those players. <clears throat> okay, this map is pretty good for goblins. Yeah. So I think we're gonna have a great game here. Let's see. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see. Irvi's like uh, in the chat saying, Smok gave me three, uh, 30,000 points today. <laughs> basically, if Solas does the right pop on choices, he can end the game uh, with one good clump, basically. And the right pop on choices, you never go for whites, except maybe very late game. You go for either. Um, the troll lair with the uh, untamed allegiance, which, which give you Enough siege weapons, around. and if you have dark rangers and a couple of a good clump, you will be able to kill the goblins very easily. Yeah. Or you go for oxamon, and then you get the giants. Once you have the giants, dark rangers, and um, a good clump, and you have not fed it enough your adversary, so he has a watcher. You end the goblin prayer like this. Yeah, but you Otherwise are talking you about scenarios, you know, that this has to happen, this has to happen, this has to happen, this, when we reach the 50 minute mark, well, then this has to happen. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, well, that's how players play, Shax. Yeah, but like, uh, I mean, first of all, he if, needs to survive the early in the game. game. If this happens in the game, he can do this. If this happens, he can do yeah. this. Uh, that's how any player think, you know? Like, uh, you have to get to eat timings, you have to eat things. If you feed too much your adversary, you're gonna be fucked, you know? Yeah, just exactly. like last game, you saw, he, he lost the power up and battle, he lost the game just because of that, mainly. Because he feed it too much. Anyway. With two goblin caves into the third goblin cave from Mr. Smog Boy, so we're gonna see a lot of goblin warriors joining and fighting for the map control. And Sola sending one Gundabad forward, that should not be too doing much. Four channel to use, actually. Fairy. Anyway, fairy thing, eternal loops tactic. You want you want me to get the replays where I, I killed you goblins with this tactic? Exact same pop and pass. <laughs> this was not long ago either. <laughs> That's how you play against goblins. I learned from the mistakes. Look, Abba is saying in the chat, this is one of the hardest matchups at the moment against a good goblin player. That, yeah, yeah, that, that means that Eternal is such a great Angma player and fairy is a noob goblin player in this case. <laughs> Well, I can get the replays. I will let the replays talk for you. I don't know. All right, my friend. I'm gonna cast them for the YouTube. <laughs> I give of them course, to you. You already me. casted it. <laughs> oh. You already did. But what was it on this map? This, jungles of Farrarat? It was not on jungles. It was on Eastfold. It's all Eastfold. It's, it's also uh, nice it, it was a revenge match. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah after, and, right after the World Championship, right? What I did in the tournaments. In the tournament, at one point, I was good. I was winning. And then I went for the white summon instead of going for the Gunda or Unstained Allegiance. And I couldn't push fairy base. You can't push a goblin base, basically. You cannot. If he plays well, like people say, if he plays well, you cannot push 
his base. He's gonna get out of tunnels, he's gonna encircle you. It's too hard with Angmar units. So what you need is Dark Rangers to protect siege weapons or siege-like weapons or heroes. And as long as you don't have those strong uh, units or assets to destroy the goblin base directly or from afar, then you cannot push. So that's why you, you don't you don't go for whites or maybe a good blight into the goblin base, but that's very rare and kind of it's not like it's you need to be to be lucky. If you don't want to be lucky, you can enter allegiance with trolls or orcsmen or the giants. And if you are able to defend the giants with the dark rangers, which you are able to do, you win basically. Okay, back because to the game. What uh, at the current stage of the game, guys? We have three power points collected almost by the Angmar player Solas. 400 command yeah. points available. On the other side, the same amount of power points collected by Mr. Smog, playing the Goblin faction and 450 command points. So it's quite even right now, and Solas is sending many, many units actually forwards and keeping the Goblin player busy right now. With Extroverse, he's gonna do some work against the Goblins. Fissure is up on the field, and we're even gonna get to see some of those half throws Swordsmen from the Goblin player, Mr. Smog, who's expanding quite nicely at the right side of the map, as we are able to see. I mean, here's their tunnels well, around this area, there in this, you know, yeah. many, many tunnels. Yeah, since it's in the, since here we see uh, smoke getting Astros, that's very good. Now, uh, what Solas is gonna need is gonna get Dark Rangers. Dark Rangers will counter the Astros. Dark Rangers are so strong against Astros, that's what counters them. If you don't get uh, Dark Rangers, like if Solas waits too long to get Dark Rangers now, with a third hole, uh, it's gonna be harder for him in the army fights because those Afros are just so good against our, uh, Yeah. <clears throat> but so far, I mean, until now, actually, Mr. Smog was having both the signal fires under his control. Solas was just able to get this one back under his control. I mean, if you have both the signal fires in this map under your control, you pretty much see everything. Um, and what we can also see in the map control, we can see that, you know, Mr. Smoke has many, many tunnels which are pretty much untouched. Because Solas, unlike the games before, is now exclusively using this pathway. He's not trying to move from many, many different directions. Felvin is gonna be ready for the Angmar player Solas for the next fight. 500 yeah, command points against 400, three and a half. So Solas is being ahead in terms of command points and in terms of power points as well. And pushing the goblin player um, really back in, in a rough situation. You don't need uh, to have Dark Rangers before or of course you can get them. Nice Felwin. So I think he's gonna upgrade one of his Hold the Kingsman. That's a very nice push from Solas, by the way. He has many Axe Throwers and that's what you want. You need range units to take down uh, Goblin Case because they keep coming, they keep coming. So Axe Throwers, if he's able to push, uh, push, a bit, push a bit more here, which I don't think he will, um, you can take down the caves with axe throwers. Okay, as, as I said, he's upgrading uh, his uh, third hall of the Kingsman. And after this, he should be upgrading it, upgrading it again after he does the one of throw. <laughs> or maybe he's gonna get Dark Numenorians, which will be fine too. I mean, Dark Crunches or Dark Numenorians are good against Alpha. And forcing, so, uh, forcing Mr. Smog to use his Tainted Land defensively is always a great move. Yeah, uh, but so you know, Mrs. Mog was actually able to defend himself. But there are still many, many extra words left. Yeah, uh, and Gandalf. As you know, tented land is cannot be countered by Angmar with another land because frozen land gets over it. It doesn't cancel it, you know. So getting tented land against Angmar is very good. Also, Smoke has a sneaky builder in the left. He has the right side. He has very nice, uh, um, how do you call uh, tunnels. But so far, I think uh, Smog kind of got surprised from the aggressive gameplay from Solas. Solas was playing super aggressively, was pushing really back and forcing, you know, Mr. Smog using all this, all the abilities like Warjan and Tainted Land super defensively and not being able to put any counter pressure. And yes, we have a Hall of the Kingsman level 3 pretty soon. And that means we're gonna get to see some of those Dark Rangers on the field. And Felwind is already unlocked, so he might also he go, go potentially for the banner carry upgrades. And that's gonna have one shot the Goblin Warriors, pretty much. Yeah, Dark, Dark Rangers will uh, destroy Arthros, they will destroy Goblins. And uh, the Goblin player, when you see Dark Rangers, Goblin player will need either Trolls with Goblin Throw, which Fairy does. And Fairy is a very good Goblin player and you should, like, you should watch his game. So Goblin Throw with uh, uh, Trolls or uh, Goblin Heroes and that's basically what you need. Or Spider Riders. 
one of those three are gonna be good against Dark Ventures. But they're both, all of those three options are expensive and take time to yep. get. Okay, now, so, uh, now Mr. Smoke is pushing back, sending many units offensively forward, but he's losing many, many tunnels around this area. Let's see how much damage he will be able to deal, but sooner or later he will be forced to face against those Dark Rangers. However, Solas being now command points capped, can't get those Dark Rangers out on the field just yet. And this is not gonna get better because he's all about to lose many, many different uh, mills. Warchan was used on the Orcs, on the Gandabats from Solas defensively. Smoke is uh, evening the command points uh, gap that there, there is between him and, and Solas. Yeah, Dark Rangers are joining now. The first battalion is already on the field. He's surrounding quite nicely, focusing on the map control, focusing yeah. exclusively on the like, mills. Look at the Dark Rangers. They're just destroying the Arthurs. Yeah. Although Arthurs has a charge, maybe he could use charge. No? Okay. Always good to have a free buff like that. Yeah. But he's oh, pushing back. He's Arthurs pushing back. back. Oh, I really don't like those Afros position. They're gonna take the. Is he is he gonna force Solas to get the Snowbind? Yeah. Yeah, he will force Solas to get the Snowbind. Because this mirror is gonna get level 3 soon and we have been devastating to lose it. Yeah, but that, definitely. That, ah, man, that's bad for Solas because he could have gotten the Oak of Gundabad uh, summon and he could have pushed with the Dark Rangers with that. Yeah. But so far, he has only what? One battalion Dark Rangers, right? If I'm not mistaken? Yeah. yeah one battalion. He's getting more. Yeah, he's getting one more. Yeah. I mean, two is all you need. I mean, the, the more is goblins, the more you need, of course. Three, four is very safe. Pick them up. But two are just gonna want. Maybe Mr. The... Smoke should be getting some of those spider riders on the field, because yeah, right now there are no pikes around from. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why you need either heroes because our Azog and um, Gokil gives a uh, Gokil will give the buff and leadership and. Uh, they are very tanky. Uh, at least Azog is very tanky against archers. Yeah. Or you need the troll with goblin throw. And the troll with goblin throw is tricky to do, but it's just so good because Angmar has no uh, fear resistance. So yeah. you can basically destroy the Angmar clamp like that. <laughs> it's very good. Tricky to do, but very good. And yeah, now Dark Rangers are on the field. But I like the way that Moses Smoke is expanding at the sides quite nicely. Look at the left and the, the right side of yeah. the map, boys. So he has many, Ooh, one many man, one man ready. Oh, use! Oh, he doesn't have banners. Oh, he's gonna lose Dark Rangers. Because if he had mad banners here, Solas would have bought banners on his second unit of Dark Rangers and used long shot and one shot all those uh, white men, you know? I mean, he can disengage if he wants to, right? Yeah, he lost one battalion though. Yeah. Okay, he still doesn't have uh, banners. He needs banners if he wants to convert this kind of move. Yeah, and white men, whenever they are... Hitting the structures, they are getting resources, they are stealing resources from Solas as well. Solas now moving forwards, but the Tainted Lance leadership yeah, or buff end, is putting, putting in some as, nice work. As, is, as long as this is up and you don't have Dark Rangers to push. You see, that's why that's what I'm meaning. You cannot push the Goblin base as long as you don't have a Siege weapon to hit them from afar, you know? Or something, a hero very strong and you protect, protect those assets with uh, units like Dark Rangers, you know? Otherwise, yeah. you cannot push. Goblins are always getting out of two moves. You have tainted land. You have... It's oh, so look what Solas is going for, guys. He's gonna go for the, for the gift roll, probably. Yes! That's what I mean. He's gonna go for the gift roll at the bottom left side. Because, it, yeah, or to, at the top right side. He's going for it with the extra verse. There we go. He was able to do that just before he lost the battalion and lost vision. <laughs> And that's, that's gonna be hard to deal with for the goblin player right now with the units he has. That's gonna force him maybe to get some goblin arches or half to a pikeman. Nice push here. Oh, yeah, Vorchan so the was... giant expansion is very good. Very good choice. Mr. Smoke is moving from the bottom right side. What about bottom left side in this case? Oh, the only problem here is that Smoke saw that. And like I, I, when I was playing against um, Griven of Angmar uh, in a Goblin Mirror, I would get uh, Antema Legion, but I would instantly lose it. And if Smoke is smart, he needs to destroy it because that's a free creep. There is no, no no troll defending it anymore because yeah. he's using the troll as a unit. And he has and also tunnels. And he has also yeah, tunnels has around. Also, that would be very good to destroy it because that's the only threat to his base right now. Trolls. Yeah. Snowbind was used again defensively from Solas. He is now, he is for now using the Dark Rangers exclusively for defensive purposes. He is trying to the get more of these. Here, the only problem here is that uh, Smoke has too much tunnels. 
So he's getting a lot of resources. Exactly. And but also smoke is not upgrading. He's not getting a, a higher fissure, he's not getting fire riders, and he's not getting uh, heroes, at least uh, as far as I can see. So let's see. Because for now he's spamming many many units. Obviously, because yeah. he keeps losing those units against the Dark Rangers and against the other units from the Angma player Solas. I mean, right mm -hmm. now we have 575 command points available from the Angma player Solas. He has this troll cage under his control, has one uh, cave troll running around for himself. Yeah, uh, Velvet like is going to be ready for the next fight. 575, gonna... 625. Oh, nice Smoke long shot. Ooh, very nice. Nice long shot on the tunnel. Smoke is still not wanting to... I mean, he's not putting any troops to attack the troll there. Oh, okay, here we go. He's, stand, he's standing pikes. Okay, this is good. And uh, Azok is also if on I the fields now. If I was so that, I would keep those two trolls alive and push with my Dark Rangers and, and then get, you know, with the, troll, with the troll rocks, you get the buildings from afar and you're fine. Yeah. <clears throat> but this is going to give a creep to, to smoke. So it's not very... And he has also Azok on the field. Okay, Azok. Azok, you really need Azok. I hope he's not going to lose this gift troll. I hope too. Oh my god, look at the damage of Giant. Get out, get out! Oh my god, Azog is gonna get so much level. Oh no. Oh, he was okay. able to get away. Oh. He's running fast and he's level 2. He will be healing up over time. Or no, he needs to be level 3, right? To heal up, if I'm not uh, mistaken. No, level 2 for Cave Troll is fine. Oh, level it's, 3 uh, for Mountain, okay. Oh, level 3, you're, sorry, yeah, yeah, level 3. It's the Mountain Troll at level 2. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, he's healing at level 2. Then it's for it's the Mountain Troll level 3. Three, then. Yep. I don't remember. I think, yeah, I think it's a, since the mountain troll can heal from orcs, I think it's at level 3. Or oh, is it? And both trolls are remaining on the field. One of them is level 1 only, but he's quite healthy. Oh, um, he's losing some Dark Rangers uh, here. I don't like it. Although he has some reinforcements. Yeah. Like, his only choice for uh, smoke is to put pressure at this point. But he's losing many Dark Rangers here right now. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like that. Oh, to the half troll spot, oh, in middle range. Just, uh, yeah, that's just, losing those dark rangers, man. He's giving a lot of uh, power points. Yeah. And you're losing very vi valuable units here. Yeah. yeah, they are quite expensive. But it's not the end of the world. Nah. He was also able to clean all the tunnels at the top right side from Mr. Smog. Yeah. Now Mr. Smog can now use only the left side of the map. And he was also was, able yeah. to build himself a bit advantage in terms of command points and resource income. If I was so oh look at the Dark Rangers, they're stealth and uh, Smoke didn't attack them in the tree. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, level 10 power is ready for... You see? Uh, oh, okay, Smoke went for the Spiderling Summon. Yeah. So no Watcher. You wanna live forever? No Watcher. For that, but but he needs, now he needs to deal so much damage. Is Snowbind yeah. available? Yes, it is. So can be used to keep this level 3 mil safe, probably. Yes, yes three, 3 level Ooh, 3 mil. is gonna get Giants! Look, look, look! This is the move I'm talking. He's gonna get the 15 power and get the giants he's pushing. Yeah. Snowbind will be used on Although the level 3 node. he doesn't have an army to protect the giants right now, so probably not now. Here we go. Giant summon is ready. The so next push is gonna, gi is gonna be killer push. And if and since Smoke didn't went for the Watcher, he has nothing. He will have one man summon. But if Solas is smart, he's gonna use a, a long shot on those one man. And he has also Felwind ready, so there is no way of escaping. Oh! Trolls are still alive, putting some work. Azok is also there, level 3. So you see guys, Solas is doing the exact PowerPoint pass that I said in the beginning of the game. Who is a noob now? <laughs> <laughs> joking, joking. Here okay. we go, Giant Summon. Although, okay. He has also two cave trolls there, so he's gonna smash that real fast. Oh, he's really going for the fort. He's not protecting them with Dark Rangers, which is a mistake, in my opinion. Whiteman of Dunland special summon, Tainted Lands. Ah, uh, this is too greedy. Trample, Warchan will be used. Nice stamp here. Stomp on the uh, ground. This is too greedy. Yeah. You should use Dark Rangers with the Giants, not send them alone. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to take the Fortress unless he's gonna attack it. No, he's, he's not. He's not. It's a mistake. Yeah. And Protected Summon is a bad, is a bad summon. Yeah. Uh, such a, nah, and he bad. also lost both the Cave Trolls, by the way, unfortunately. And yeah, they're gone now. The other, he can't get the other creep. But that's a mistake, you see? That's why, that's why yeah. I mean you need Dark Rangers, because... Dark Ridges would have been able to protect the Giants with the long shot from the Wildman Center. But actually that forced, you know, Mr. Smoke at least to use everything defensively. Still, he was able to defend the fortress. Yeah, it's still good for Solas. He lost yeah. a builder there. Someone lost a builder it's there. Just... I think Mr. Smoke lost a builder. It's still good for Solas. I think it could have been better, but still good. 
He's got Mogomir. Mogomir well, can kill the fort. Wall is also on the field. So both heroes are here for the for the buff and for the debuff. And he was able to get this cave under his control at the bottom left side. And he has another cave troll fighting now for him. With Rock and focus the fort. I agree with Mirak. Once he did the stomp, he was safe. He could have just attacked the fort as well. Yeah. Because but, the fortress yeah, like is I quite said, low. You don't do a summon like that. It's much more preferable to have a. But maybe he thought. Maybe he thought that uh, look at the at the watcher. But yeah, as a player, you don't necessarily think. Oh, okay, it's spiraling, and you forget. You know. Yeah. But that's fine. <clears throat> I mean, so far it's still looking better for Solas, I would say. There's a smoke yeah, only 450 yeah. command points available, so I mean he lost many many tunnels around this area to the cave troll. Cave troll is also okay. leading forward, being level three. Look, yeah, level three. He's got he's doing more cave troll. With more cave troll, he can take down the fort again. Yeah, and those goblins um, they don't do any more anything anymore because of the extrovers and dark rangers. And Solas has like one, two, level three mills, so his resource income is looking very good. And Hualdo is gonna spot those killman units with the leadership. And so far only tier 1 units from the goblin player Mr. Smog. So no spiders all game long, no spider riders and no fissure level 2. Alright, the push that we I wanted to see is probably gonna come with this troll. You see he has dark rangers, you can protect the troll and the troll is gonna do the siege work. Yeah. Here we go. Now, to see if he did the giant summon now, he could, he could def easily defend it with the Dark Rangers here and GG, you know? Yeah. Okay, so for Ah, uh, that's a mistake again. But I'm, he's oh, also well, Morgan Okay, it's good. It's good, it's good. It's good. Never mind. Nice, well went long shot combination here. GG, GG. Yeah, the fortress is gonna go down. Morgan is gonna get all the levels. Yeah, we go level 4. He got level 4 after that, with one hit. And Mr. Smoke is calling it GG, boys. Guys, you know what that means, right? Game number five. The final game, the deciding game. Holy okay, guys, moly. Take a screenshot of Solas Powers. He took exactly what I said in the beginning of the game. And I want to, to put the meme, who's laughing now? <laughs> no one was laughing, but you know, at the beginning of the game, we, could, we, we were just talking about the end oh, of the yeah, game. Oh yeah, we are just talking. We oh, Eternal is a noob, need... he doesn't know anything about Angmar. <laughs> no, we need to we need to just focus on the current stage of the game, you know. Then you can yeah, tell as as it's as it's done, because I was uh, joking. I was joking about chat <laughs> with the chat. All right, guys, we're gonna update the scoreboard real quick. Uh, so we have a two-two situation now. Well played by Solas. So whoever was betting on Solas, congratulations, boys. And yeah, we're gonna jump into the final game. And because we have only one map left, the last game will be played on the map Eastwald, actually. Solas was able to win this one. And who will win the next game? On the one side, we will have Solas from Germany. I knew it's gonna be close, serious. I knew it. And now it's really close because this is the deciding game, boys. This is the deciding game. Right. There you go, boys. You are able to bet on the outcome of the game. All right, let's go, so let's, let's go, so <laughs> East fault, by the way, by the way, boys. East fault, okay. So I doesn't like this match too much. But uh, of course, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah, he bans out the map Erich, and uh, Forza of Eisen 3 was banned from Mr. Smok. Yeah. Which means it's not his worst, like, he doesn't necessarily like East fault, but... He hates more Eric than his fault, though. Yeah, exactly. Okay, boys. Pretty damn good. I don't know why he's not <laughs> changing his fault. <laughs> Everyone telling him, his fault. This guy's so slow, you know. <laughs> uh, he said one minute, by the way. He said oh, okay, okay. Then I'll be right back to 10 seconds also. Be right back. <clears throat> yeah, that's true, Aber. The trees in front of the base with four elves uh, of the base uh, in the top side are lame. 
but I think Lumber would be fine. I mean, always depends. <clears throat> I mean, Jungles has much more trees than uh, Eastfold, and Lumbers are, are fine. Yeah. Well, of course, in the advantage. All right, guys, sorry, I'm back. Okay, we're gonna have another random mirror, so it's gonna be also a lucky matchup situation. I mean, I think Solas can't moan about the factions he got to play this series. He was like three out of four games getting Angma faction, boys. The first game was Angma against Mordor, which was won by Mr. Smok. The second game was uh, Angma Mirror, which was won by Solas. The third game was Elves against Isengard. Elf's, elf player Mr. Smog was able to win. The last game was Angma by Solas against the Goblins by Mr. Smog. Won by Solas, make the score even 2 2. And the last matchup on the map Eastwald is going to be Mordor against Dwarves. Oh my god. And Solas gets to play Mordor. Remember at the beginning of the stream, I said if it's, if um, basically Solas gets Mordor and smokes Dwarves, it's gonna be annoying for Solas. All right, let's go. This is very hard matchup. Uh, yeah. Model. Unlike a situation, on the left side of the map, we have the blue dwarf player, Mr. Smog. <laughs> and on the right yes. side, we have the oh, no. gray model player, Solas, from Germany. And Don't Solas is saying congrats to the matchup. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way, Mark Root. Appreciate it. Hope you're going to enjoy your stay, bud. I and hope Solas does his fucking best play in the, in the fucking universe. Sorry for swearing. Yeah. I hope he just does the best play he's ever done in his life now. I, I mean, he's two out. slaughterhouses <laughs> into the orc pits. And yeah, by the way, uh, Eternal, but no joking. We need to just be polite, you know, because I can smell the f uh, flames on the comments in the in the YouTube. Uh, that was also the case because you guys were cheering for Irvi, not against, not for Mr. Smok in the World Championship, the Grand Final. And then, you know, a couple of people were typing, oh my God, why are you so blessed? Why are you taking sides? You are commentators. I know Solas is a friend Man, of you, but still, you know. That, of course, we're being like, like I said in the beginning, uh, we like we can pick who we like, but then we, of course, it's the casting. Yeah. And may the best player win. It's like may the, may the best dwarf win in this that. one. Yeah, who is saying that anyway? Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> Look, even Panther saying in the chat, Eternal sporting Solas so hard, you know. You don't make it obvious, at least. I don't care. <laughs> Plus, my my. My friend, I don't want him to lose. But as a caster, I don't care. It's the best dwarf win. Yeah, yeah, I wanna, I wanna just have a great game. And so far, both players were actually performing quite nicely. So, yeah, it's of course an unlucky situation with tomorrow. Remember, we have already seen Mordor one time here, Mordor against Angmar, and Mordor player was Mr. Smog in the very first game. Actually, he was able to win. The Smog going for Guardians. One, yeah. Uh, what is second you need? Guardians again? Okay, Cav is gonna be ready for the second Guardian. That's good. Yeah. And he was also and able to get many, defend. many mineshafts. He's gonna lose his uh, sword house. Sure. But once Cav is out, it's fine. Also, he's got a nice uh, surrounding around the Guardians. Yeah. But he will still be able to take it down, probably. Yeah, yeah, for There's sure. too much dam damage output with one of those Guardians, even in the whole ground stance. The second hit. Guardian will be intercepted by Cavalry easily. Yeah. But Smoke has already two forward mine. And he's going for the creep now. On the troll bot, uh, top left. Yeah. And he has also now a level 2 Guardian. They were already using the charge attack. The Lancers, they will be on the fields. Mm, he will lose another farm for sure. Yeah. He needs to deal with either one of them. He can't deal he can't, with both of them at the same time. Uh, oh, actually, nice flank damage, but still not enough. Oh, he's, he's going, going for back. the second one. Good choice. But he will lose yeah, it. He's not gonna, oh, is he going to lose both of them? Or oh, he might be able to melee. save. Very good choice. He's gonna watch. Oh, oh no, he should have attacked in melee. Oh, <laughs> not nice. even close. <laughs> okay. You see, that's why uh, one uh, dwarf against Mordor. Mordor is just gonna lose for sure the Exile Farms early game. Yeah. And Mr. Smoke is trying to expand and trying to, you know, snowball his leads by creeping oh. the troll at the top left side. Okay, okay. I was, I thought he did a bad creep, but that's fine. He's, no, he's fine. He's gonna get it. He's and he also keeps those lances quite busy, as you can. Oh, what? He leaves them alone? The lancers? Oh, the, no, the guardians? No. The guardians? No. Oh my god, the slaughterhouse no. has been taken down, ladies and gentlemen. He has a level two and a half guardian. When he can send them to the tree at the top right side and sneak them and save them. Now he needs to retreat again. 
Ah, oh, man. Holy Too moly. Fun. Quite, quite unfortunate for the German player Solas. First of all, saving, then ending up losing the slaughterhouse. And yeah, Smok in the meantime was able to creep the top right, top left troll, getting some hobbits on the field. And I think he's planning to do that at the bottom right side as well. He sees the Corsars coming from the level 2 Haradrim Palace from the German player Solas. Yes, I think one battalion of Lancers or two. I see only one. Yeah, it's only one. And the uh, forge is coming up, getting a battle wagon. Oh, yes, two. Yes, two battalions. Or? Oh, really? Move together. No, no, I think he has this one. Is one only? Yeah, it's okay. My bad. Um, battle wagon is coming up. Those courses are gonna get trampled out when it comes. Although he's picking the in. Oh, look at this! He's gonna prevent the Obit to come from coming out. Yeah. Very nice. And the Lancers, they should be taking care of those Guardians. And nice uh, trample. Like Very nice trample here from Solas. Almost yeah. getting level yeah. 2 and Mr. Smog is moving for big offensive move. Up. Yeah. Rallying will be ready. The battle wagon will come, I think. Yeah. And, uh, we have, we have Banner Carrier, yeah. maybe? For yeah, yeah. double buff? I think so. Double buff. Or will he try to defend himself against the Corsas with the battle wagon first? Oh. Nah, right. I think he's going for the push. We'll go right oh, I'm wrong, okay. Don't worry, oh, I get, oh, I get you covered. Solas is positioning the cavalry to protect. Uh, the cavalry will, ba will basically block the battle wagon and can actually kill it. Look, 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 look. Well, he was not able to block, but he's going to. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna lose it. Oh, Ooh, nice bait into the bike man from the whole yes. of the warriors. He's gonna probably okay. lose the entire battalion of those lancers. You gotta be super careful. Oh, he didn't lose the lances. Level yeah, two. he was able to save them. But on the other side, Rallying Cole was used offensively from Mr. Smok. And he's all about to destroy the level to Haradrim Palace. Battle Wagon has been taken down. He was also able to take down the Mineshaft. And he was able to save the lancers. But he ends up losing the level to Haradrim Palace. That means no more Corsars. No more lancers any soon. If he, he might even lose the old pits. The fort is undefended if Smoke goes for a fast... Uh... Uh, Guar um, siege armors, he could take down the fort. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay, he was also using Look, heal, by the way. He... Oh my god, he's not gonna take the He's gonna take the fort. Is there no defense? He's gonna take the fort with... No, never mind, never mind. Nah, I mean, he needs, first of all, upgrade yeah. all of warriors to level 2, obviously. Smoke economy is all in the bottom left. Oh, look at this one guardian in the top uh, left. He took the in, and now he... Is it just this one guardian? Yeah. In, man? One guardian to rule them all, boys. One guardian yeah. to rule them all. Now he's gonna get some reinforcements with the hobbits. Oh, battle wagon. From the oh, Shire. This is GG. Fuck. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice trample on those Corsars with the battle wagon. He's purchasing the banner carry upgrade. That means leadership will be unlocked for those units. Yeah. As he's about to creep. This, this matchup shouldn't be allowed in the tournaments. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, but... That's kinda true, yeah. That's true. We have the That's why the people are able to pick the factions they wanna play with. That's true. Isn't yeah. And if you pick random, you are taking the risk to get a bad matchup for yourself. And it's looking really good for Mr. Smoke right now. It looks like he's going to reach the finals one more time. Smoke expert match. I think so. I think so. I think Smoke deserves it now in 2019. Could be a nice Christmas present alongside with the final being unlocked for Smoke. Could be also gaining... I mean, if Smok has wins this tournament, he's gonna win the two big tournaments in a row with the World Championship, obviously. And I think he should be getting the Expert patch. Field has been taken down from the Moro player. Unlucky for Solas. No more slaughterhouses. No more units. It's all about to lose the game. To so Mr. Smok, our World Champion. Can he also be our Christmas Champion? That is the question, but he needs to win the finals first. Remember, we have still many, many games to go in this on the, on the other side of the bracket. We have the games between Lukat against I Like It, as I Like It was also able to win against Irby today, looking also very strong. Then we have the games between Fairy against the winner between Imperialis and Ave Have. Keep so we have cool guys in the chat. Please. We have still a bit of, of you know a bit of uh, work to do till we hit the finals. Solas is just waiting. He's losing the fortress. Can't do anything about that. And the victory of the game number five, with that also being said, the victory of the semi-finals will be going to the well, player from Ukraine. Really see. <laughs> and Solas is in the chat now, by the way. Solas, yeah. welcome to the chat. <laughs> 
Cancel bets? No, you can't cancel it anymore. Yeah, back city starry knows better. <laughs> exactly. Very well played from both two players. We could see a lot of entertaining stuff. I mean, the best game so far, I think, was Alves against Isengard was quite nice. Was back and forth game. And yeah. Yeah. This is Mock very is in the finals two again. Two two, two, the two most unbalanced matchup right now are Dwarf against Mordor and Elves against Goblins. I don't want to interrupt you, but what did I say at the what did I say at the beginning of the game about the prediction of the score? Do you remember my prediction? That's true, man. That's true. <laughs> Do you guys remember my prediction? I was predicting three to four, Mr. Smog. Sorry, Solas. <laughs> and there we go, boys. We're gonna give the points now to. Mr. Smock had actually more bets on this time. There you go, boys. Rank 7 now, Imperialis. Oh my goodness. Feels bad, man. Thank you, Solas, very much for the participation in this tournament, my friends. And definitely big congratulations to Mr. Smock for winning the semifinals and being able to reach to the grand final of the tournament. We're gonna take a look into the current bracket before we're gonna close the stream. This is being the case right now. Mr. Smog against Solas. Holy moly, man, that was crazy serious. Yeah. And that means Mr. Smog will be waiting for his opponents. We have the games between I Like It and Lucas to go. We have the games between Imperialist. Thank you for the Vulcan 50 Cheered X50. Nice duo cast less than three. Thank you for the 50 bitty, bitty bomb, my friends. Nice duo cast, uh, nice duo cast less than three. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good series, yeah. That's really good series. And yeah, Mrs. Mock now being in the grand final, boys. And he's gonna face either against I Like It, Lukat, Fairy, Ave Ave, or Imperialists. We have still many, many games to go, as you can see by yourself. In order to not miss those games, make sure to hit that follow button on the Twitch. And if you're watching that over at YouTube, please don't forget to leave, the, leave a like on this video and definitely subscribe for more content.